In this video, we're going to go through the login security options in WordFence Security. Here is where you get some influence over the passwords people are using, how many times they can try to log in and so on. So we're gonna kick off with the first option here, uh, and that is to enforce strong passwords. And at the current security level, which is level two, the default security level for WordFence Security, it's only going to force admins and publishers to use strong passwords. and that would be authors, editors, and administrators who are required as they are the roles that are able to publish at default. You can, of course, simply change this and force all members to use strong passwords or not force anyone to use strong passwords. Leaving it as the default, which is indeed the recommended setting, is just fine. Then we can choose to lock out a user after they've made too many failed attempts and the default is 20 you may want to drop that down to five or maybe even less as well because uh, that means if someone's from one IP and they're trying to hit different usernames over and over and over, they'll get locked out very quickly. The same applies with the next option, lock out after how many forgotten password attempts. So if someone can't remember their password, say five times, uh, they won't be able to log in. They'll be locked out uh, for a time period. And that time period is actually what you go to define next, as you can see here. Uh, the default five minutes, uh, maybe I want to do for an hour. It really depends uh, how locked down you want your website to be and for how long. But idealistically speaking, most users should be able to get in within two or three attempts anyway. And if not, one would ideally assume they'd perform a forgotten password reset through WordPress. Next, you get to choose the amount of time a user is locked out for. So once again, you can choose any period of time here that you like. Maybe you'd like to make that for one hour as well to complement the period of time that failures are counted over. The next setting allows you to immediately lock out invalid usernames. So if someone's hitting your website just trying to log in over and over and over with various usernames that don't actually exist, you can lock them out immediately. Pretty handy setting to have on, I think. The next option is to prevent WordPress from showing if the person trying to log in is using a valid username by removing the actual message that they'll receive. It can certainly be a deterrent in keeping people out or trying to, or to keep them from trying to get into your website. But for the end user, it's not a super good feature, especially if they're not super technical uh, or the internet is not one of their strong points. So we'll leave that one up to you. The next option is to prevent users registering the admin username if it doesn't exist. Very, very, very good feature to turn on and leave on uh, particularly if you don't have it on, uh, which it should be on by default anyway. The admin username is one that's especially prone to brute force attacks because it's been the default username with WordPress for an extraordinarily long time. And just below this, we can see that, uh, and it's already enabled, we can prevent discovery of usernames through question mark slash author equals name. Uh, so typically if someone was trying to hit a WordPress site and trying to find out usernames, they could just enter this at the end of the actual domain name and then put a name where the N is and do that over and over and over until they collected a list of usernames. So by disabling that, you're certainly making it harder, a lot harder for would-be attackers to find out the necessary information to gain access to your website. Finally, we can immediately block the IP of users who try to sign in as these usernames. So, so if there are certain usernames you don't want people to log in with, say the admin username, uh, you know, as we mentioned earlier, it's one that's constantly under attack across more or less every single WordPress website. Then anyone who tries even once to log in with the admin username will be blocked, or at least their IP address will. Very cool feature. And this particular little area is a really great way of taking greater control over how people gain access or try to gain access to your website. Strongly recommend checking it out and fine tuning it so it better suits your needs. If you have any questions about what we've done here today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.